Hi, in this video we're gonna make another uh, component made of like basically the, the finest and netlist. So netlist is basically a netlist a play, a place and route. So we're gonna define a netlist in YAML format, which is a human readable format. So we're gonna start, for example, with these uh, paths. So basically, the, the way for us to, to, to visualize this, so you can do GF. So GF is the GVS530 command line interface. So we're gonna do GF YAML, and then we're gonna see the options of this command. So we're gonna watch a specific folder, GF YAML, watch, and then we're gonna watch a folder called circuit. That way when we make changes on this folder, we're gonna be able to automatically see them on, on Klayout. Uh, you just need to modify the file and save. So here we can basically see uh, this is a component. Uh, it's, a, it's basically a parametric cell that we, where we have instances and placements. So I can change the placement location. For example, this this path is called top left. So I can change it to zero zero, or I can move it for two hundred up. I can also change the routing settings. So we have two bundle route. So one of them is an electrical route, the other one is an optical route. So the, for the electrical route, I can also change the width. So you can, if you zoom in, you can see that the width is 10. I can change this width to one, and then I save, and then it automatically goes to one. You can also change the radius of the other optical route from like 10 to like, uh, say 50. You can see it's almost uh, uh, basically a, as, a, as a live update. Um, I can also go through other files. Uh, for example, I have this MZI. Uh, this is from the UBC PDK. So basically here I have a, this is a, a place and route where I define two splitters that are placed um, and routed. So one of them is routed. Uh, it's basically mirror so you have a rotation. So I'm gonna also change the settings of this one from, you can see, if I try to make this uh, dy, which is the distance here that I'm trying to go to, if it's too small, you will get error markers. But like I can go to 20, it starts to work well because you need at least two bands of 10, 10 um, micro band radios. But you can even go to something like higher, like 50, so you can see here um, your, your live update uh, of your of your basically this MZI this max sender interferometer. I can also take this to a next level, so I can take this um, basically P cell that is basically it only has one setting this DY, and I can put it into a lattice filter uh, where with lattice filter basically we are placing two MZIs and two grading couplers. I'm gonna save this. We have two MZIs and two grain couplers, and you can basically place them. So place and route. So you can see uh, the settings that we defined before. So it was minus 100, minus 500, but I can make both of them minus, minus 100. I also can change the location of these MZIs, so basically the, on the placements. So as I said before, this is basically instances, placements, and routes. It's a place and route netlist. So you can change this MGI2, we can change the position of the MGI2, and uh, the DY here I have 100, but I can make it a, a zero. And basically this will bring MGI2, Y max is MGI1 north. And you can also change the location of the green coupler. So I can change the green coupler two. I can bring it to zero as well, that way it goes there. So yeah, as you can see here, we taking this netlist and uh, visualizing the basically here um, the GDS, but you could also take this netlist and simulate the circuit. For that, you need to have components, def uh, mo models defined for each, and you need to run with a circuit simulator. Um, uh, finally, uh, you can also take this into a mask. So a mask is basically a collection of the sign of experiments. Uh, we call this DOE. So we use this function called PackDOE. To define the basically it's always f a function and then settings so i'm changing the ring settings um, of a ring single as well as the mgi so i'm going to save this again and you can see a mask here 
let me just remove this and this part you will see there's only two DOEs one is basically these rings and the other one is these MZIs I can add MZIs or I can redo, remove MZIs and let me just add two MZIs so these MZIs are basically 10 and 100 micron delta length but I can also I can also uh, and they you see they're routed to a fiber single but you can route it to a fiber array for example and then you will be able to see uh, them here and you can also move the location of the placement so um, for example I have these MZI that are placed at the east of the rings so the rings are here at the east side they are placed here but I can also do dy I can move them 500 microns to the right to uh, higher so that uh, or I can also move them dx 500 to the right this could create a 500 micron gap between the rings and the MZIs. So as, as we've seen, um, you can also define your your P cells and your circuits in, in a place around Netlist format. And this is um, basically, it's very convenient to run this with a file watcher, which is what we're doing here. This is basically, we, we basically run this GF YAML watch and then the folder that you're watching. And then you are able to use any of the in any of the files that are being updated will be basically refreshed directly here and this is very fast because uh, as we've been seeing like this is basically all these components are already in memory so you can just add like uh, many components and then basically it will be instantaneous let me move, move this back to zero uh, to basically so there are back to back one with the other but you can see here it's very fast to define a mask this way and multiple designers can divide the work and each each of them can design define a doe okay i hope this helped